everyone, this is Paulo from the NBA Academy and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at how to make basses like the ones in the track Michael Knight by ShyFX and Breakage. So this is the original track and we're going to be taking a look at this style of bass. But before we get started with the video, if you're new here make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos and if you're already subscribed, share this with a friend who you think would appreciate having this resource because this helps us build the channel bigger and allow us to create more videos like this. So actually this sound was available from a long time ago in one of our preset bundles called Bristol Tech. Is this preset right here called a Bristol bass? What a coincidence. And it has very nice controls. For example, you have a pitch control and then you have a rate control. Very useful for this situation, huh? Then we also have a tonality knob, which balances between the noise and the actual sub. And then we have resonances, which are how do you want the noise to resonate, as you can see right here. So combining all of this, that's how we are able to create this bass. And those movements. And this pack contains a lot of this really cool bases. For example, this preset right here is called Cat Purr. It's really nice. We have a purr speed. Just like the rate control. Then we have a variation. Oh, that's really nice. Ooh. So in reality, we have like one, two, three, four, five, six presets in one macro. And then we have a sub mode that is just turns this bass into a sub bass. Then we have a pitch bend. Let's see. Oh, this deactivates the rising of the pitch bend. So. This is a super nice bass. As we can see, you can get lost in this patch. So let's just go back into the tutorial. So as you can see, this pack is super nice. Ooh, this bass is really nice. We also have other basses with manual control. For example, this one has macro 1 to do no modulations and then macro 3 to do your manual modulations. For example, we can turn off the switch and then do our manual modulation. Which is sick. You can map this to a MIDI controller and just jam. Uh, let's see this one. It's a dunk. We can flip the switch and then do manual modulations. Which is super nice. Same with this uh, fuck horn bring the auto control down and then manual control it. Which is really nice and this is a constant between presets. For example, this one. It has the auto and then a manual. And so if you want to get this preset pack, the link is in the description below. Bristol Tech, visit our website dmbacademy.com. So going back into the tutorial, let's just init this patch and then let's try to remake the other preset. So we're going to be playing two notes, F and then E, something like that. <laughs> then we're going to load two sine waves on both oscillators, like this. We're going to turn on the noise, we're going to set on bright, white, and then we're going to introduce some phase cancellation here. So let's bring the level of the oscillators down. And then let's detune oscillator B. Just like this. Let's go into the effects and let's add distortion. Nice. Let's turn this on post and then let's just filter a bit the highs. Just like that. Let's add a chorus. Bring this down. Activate the high pass so it's only. Uh, on the frequencies above 400 hertz. 
Let's actually do 420. Hmm. Not because of any particular reason. Then let's turn on the multiband compressor. <laughs> let's boost this up. And then maybe let's bring the mids down and boost the highs. Or bring the mids up and decrease the highs. How are you feeling at at the moment for your mix? Let's boost the release time. And then let's add an EQ. And this EQ, we're just going to create a, a bit of a gap uh, with these two resonances right here. And this, we're going to map a macro into it. Like this, just so we can pick a resonance spot of the noise. That one is sick. Okay, now to control the rate of the riff, we're going to map a macro into the fine tuning. And that's going to be the movement. So let's just automate this. Something like that. Uh, maybe let's bring this down. And just as simple as that is how you can create the movement that was in the riff. So let's just keep experimenting with this. Let's put it to one semitone. Hmm, that's pretty nice. We can experiment with the mix of the oscillators and maybe we can map this um, more precisely, like 50 exact. And maybe we can bring this down. And so if we think about this, if we go to the negative side, we can invert the modulation to make it go from slow to high. But in this case, from high to low is what we need. Maybe let's try to make this uh, bipolar. And then whatever's on the positive side is going to be fast. And then whatever's on the negative side is what we're going to be using as the slow portion of the sound. So let's re enable my automation. There you go. That's the key. So yeah, that is how you make that sound. And then we can pick a resonance spot. That's really nice right there. We can pick a different noise. And a different distortion. For example, Stompbox. And maybe remove this filtering. Or the sign shaper. That's nice. Oof. Actually, I'm going to leave it like that. So that's how we can create the other sound and then an original sound. And if you want to explore this spectrum of sounds, you can get our pack Bristol Tech and explore all the different sounds that we created for you with all of its different movements. So that's going to be it for the sound and also for this video. If you liked it, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any of our future videos. And if you want to get access to the preset and the project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. So thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.